Hi, I'm David Robbins with the Wakanda Technical Services team here in San Jose. Today I'd like to talk about web application security and best practices with Wakanda. Wakanda application security is based on the following three principles. Creating users and groups that are allowed to connect to your application. Second, setting up access groups with permissions for your application resources, such as your classes, methods, pages, etc. And finally, authenticating users before giving them access to those application resources. Today I'm going to create a simple application. It's going to be multi-user and the focus of this screencast is going to show you how to protect your data. Okay, so let's jump into Wakanda and build our application. Okay, let's launch Wakanda Studio. I'm going to create a new project and I'll call this Security Best Practices. Okay, so let's save that. So we're going to create a multi-user application. So the first thing we have to do is go into the directory and we'll create a few users. So I'll create my first user named Larry and another user we'll call him Mo and if you have a Larry and a Mo I think we better add a curly. Okay, that should be good. So let's go put some passwords on our users. Okay, so there we go. We have our three users, we have our passwords. So let's save our directory and let's go into the model editor and I'm going to create a data class called purchase and in this data class we will store the items that each user buys so we'll create an attribute called item and we will create another attribute called price and a date to store the current date and the name of the store. We will store the full name of the buyer and finally a unique user ID so that we can differentiate the entities for each user. So let's save this. Now we need to go into the onInit function and this will be the reference to our current entity that we're creating so we'll use the current user method to get the ID and the full name and also we want to store the current date Okay, let's save that. Now let's go into the web folder and create our page. So I'm going to take a container and just give our page a little bit of an outline. So let's go style this and give it a background color. and I'm going to copy this just to frame out the page a little bit top and bottom let's use our alignment tool make this look a little nicer and let's use the text widget to put a title on it Wakanda makes it very easy to set your styles so let's go set the text color. All right, that looks nice. So we're going to use the login widget because we want a multi-user application. 
So let's style this so it fits with the rest of our page. I'm going to take off the border. Okay, our handy grid tool. We'll use the grid tool for this application. We're going to drag the purchase class onto the grid tool and it will create our data source. Okay, looks good. Let's save that. Now we're going to go into the event handler for the login widget. And what I want to do here is make sure that I load only the entities for the current user. So to do that, I'll use the Wakanda application framework and we will point to our purchase data source, query that data source, where the user ID equals the ID of the current logged in user. So the next thing I want to do is when they log out, I want to unload that entity collection. So to do that, let's just do a query and query on a user ID that we know doesn't exist. And finally, in the onload, let's repeat that query to make sure we unload all entities for the purchase class. So let's go run this. There's our application. We'll log in. Our first user is Mo. And Mo is going to store his purchase. He went to the store, bought some pants, got them at Macy's, and there you go. So when we create that entity, it's initializing our current date, storing our buyer's name. And it's storing the user ID so that we can make sure that no one else can look at Mo's records. So now along comes our second user. Curly's logging in. And he cannot see Mo's records. That's good. So he's going to create an entity. He went to Safeway, bought some apples, and some bananas. And we will save that. And he logs out. OK, now along comes Larry. He logs in. So he's using the application to store his purchase. He went and bought a Jeep. I guess Larry has more money than the other two guys. And Larry decides to open up the debugger. Take a look at our application. And he sees that it's using something called the Wakanda Application Framework. So he starts to look and gets curious and in the console, he decides to see if he can use the framework. So he types in this command, and look what happens. Larry has just loaded the entire entity collection for our purchase class. He can see everyone's data. So he pokes around a little more. And he can see that there's a lot of information about the application. Well, we better go back into the studio and see what we did wrong. So what we need to do is 
make our base class public on the server and extend the class and we're going to call our extended class user purchase on our extended class we'll put a restricting query so that you can only load entities based on the currently logged in user and the base class will be only available from server methods. So let's get rid of our old data source we have to save our model first and reload it on the server and let's bind our grid to our new extended data class that has our restricting query and we're just going to save this we're going to go update our methods so when we log in all we have to do is load all the records excuse me all the entities you know old habits are hard to break we're gonna load all the entities because on the server we will do the filtering of our data class not on the client that's a mistake we made so let's fix it now let's see what we have and let's go back here and make sure we saved everything and I did not save the page everything should be okay now there we go okay so now let's see what happens Mo logs in he can see his data Curly logs in he can see his data everything's looking good here comes Larry Larry logs in he can only see his data so he decides to go back into Chrome and he's gonna try to hack into our application again so he looks at the data store he sees our new data class so he decides to try the same trick and load all the entities but we've locked him out we have properly secured our data and Larry can no longer see other people's data so that's one lesson on how to secure your data properly in Wakanda